So guys, what's been your highlight of the trip since I've been up here? You're leaving. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shin pad check. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Kick us a go. Good luck. It is game day. Buffaloes versus Nycliffe Tigers in a semi-final at TIO today. The weather is crazy rain which I absolutely love. If you guys know me, you know that I love playing in the wet. Tazzy boy was born in the rain. You know, pretty much both teams level in these conditions. Hopefully it doesn't have any lightning or anything and the game gets called off. I don't know what happens if that, that does actually occur, but super duper excited. I've been sick all week. Literally the kids brought home a chest infection. I've been coughing my guts up since Sunday. I only got out of bed on Thursday. Went for a walk and a bit of a gym bike type situation. So I'm doing the Michael Jordan flu game today. Hopefully we get the chockies. Just this morning, just went for some breakfast, chilled out, put their recovery boots on, the Norma Tech compression boots from Hyper Ice. They are elite, I absolutely love that. I need to get my legs moving a little bit. I haven't trained all week, I haven't ran nothing. So a little bit nervous there I go, but I think that um, these old legs will handle it. It's gonna be a pretty soggy surface. Emma's actually playing today as well. So they're playing against Waratahs, I'm pretty sure. And she's literally got the sickness like on the Thursday, so she's in the middle of it. Lost her voice this morning and everything, so hopefully she goes all right. But yeah, she seemed like she's in the wars. But very excited, can't wait to bloody play. Hopefully get the win and we uh, go further into the finals. Big shout out to the bus this year, been really accommodating for me, very welcoming. Absolutely loved my time up here. I'd feel like I've been of service if we get a win. Couple injuries which suck. Jared Stokes, our captain, our skipper, um, probably our best player, just one of our best and fairest. He's uh, hurt his hammy, so. He's going to miss this week. He couldn't get up for it, which absolutely sucks. But we've got a pretty strong team in nonetheless. I think, well, I think we can get it done. We beat them at the start of the year, probably middle of the year, actually. Uh, they're in a form some of the time. But bloody excited. Want to get a win. Get the chocolates. Otherwise, if we lose, I'm heading straight back to Brisbane and setting up uh, the next chapter, which would be playing for Morningside and a bit of radio with SEN and hopefully some Fox stuff as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you the highlights coming up soon. And by the time I uh, talk to you guys again, hopefully we've got the big win on the board. So thanks for the support while I've been up here in Darwin. Rob Vloggers, really appreciate it. Let's go. God damn. Car. It's pouring down. I played in wet weather before, but this is monsoon type shit. You won't even be able to kick the ball four meters. Oh no. Alright, we're here, let's go! Oh, my sick boy. Yee! <laughs> <laughs> Bottles time, baby. Ah! I got my own cheer squad up here. Let's go. Michael Rosas Jr. There we go. Bowen. Oh, I think it was Atkinson who got the first hit out actually. Coming in off the wing there is the Tigers. But Robinson gets the first clearance of the day. He loves getting his clearances up here, and today's no exception. Caught him so far this year, I think, George. Now I'm at Watkins. He works it forward. Long really directly to anyone at all. It's cool to for this one, not quite. He just gets involved, Mitch Robinson puts himself between his opponent, the ball picks it up, now comes back to him, he just gets it out of there. Mitch Robinson will pick it up, give it back to Bolsh. Bolsh has to go across goal, needs to hit his target here. Yeah, he's just gotten it over. Of, uh, oh no, they are in favour of Nycliffe, sorry. They're leading them eight to four, so that's probably expected. Bolsh, he handballs over the top now to Mitch Robinson. Mitch Robinson has a few to be, gets it back to Bolsh. Bolsh runs from out now. Handball gets out to Pendlebury, now out to Robinson, further abreast to Coulthard. Now again by Jackson. Blues and Brisbane Lions. I reckon he likes the pressure too. I need this one, we'll put him in front. He plays on, Robinson opens up the angle, kicks towards goal. Oh, so close, it's just 
He just let Butcher get the better of him. Here's Robinson out of the middle now. Kicks it to centre-half forward. Stafford should take it in that quarter. The only four goals scored. Two each to Jay Moody and John Butcher. And singles uh, for the rest of the game to Hooper, Polidos for the Tigers and for the Buffs. It's Holt, Fitz, Brodos, Armour, Lockins and Stafford. Into the game and the Buffs who need to go quickly. Move it forward. Stokes goes a short one. Finds Robinson. Maroney's all by himself on this side of the field, but he's probably a bit far away. So he'll go down the line instead. That's a beautiful mark there from Staff. That's exactly what they need. Has to be brave, he is. Philo comes through, gets around. Robinson tackles him, strips him of the ball, pings him for holding. Great tackle. We've seen some beauties today, haven't we, George? It's been a very like, hotly contested contest around the ball. It's, that's a good kick. Robinson spots Robinson, and he'll keep going. Oh my god. So just flew in from Darwin last night and what do you believe it? Just uh yes, the king of delays. Then to get on at one o'clock, got on at like 2.30 where it was and we flew down to Brisbane, but I am staying at Hotel X. I'm down here at the moment, um, doing some radio stuff, uh, trying to find a rental because finding a rental at the moment has been horseshit. I've really been trying to get one because we just finished the Darwin season, uh, lost to Nightcliff in the final by two points, which is shattering, but don't worry about that anymore. We're down here in Brisbane. We're getting ready to move back down, me, Emma, and the kids, and we are looking forward to it. I just gotta find a rental. It's just so annoying. So it gets snapped up straight away or people offer six to 12 months in advance, and I'm not about that life. I am staying at the Hotel X. Now I'm just going to go have a shave, have a shower, all that kind of stuff because I feel yucky from the flight. But I'm going to take you through the hotel very soon. But I'm going to get changed, all that kind of stuff, have a little lay down and then go do some radio for SEM. But have a look at this place. I will run you through this hotel and what's happening with it this year because i am got some pretty big news, I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to have a shower, as I said, get ready, and I'm going to go do some radio, which is literally around the corner here. It's literally just like over there somewhere. And on this trip, I'm going to head over to downtown Toyota, and they're going to lend me a car as well for a few days. So I'm going to catch up with the boys, Matho, follow all those guys, go, what, go down to the game tomorrow and watch that, um, watch the VFL boys play as well because I haven't seen them for a while. and. Maybe a few drinks on the weekend, but yeah, it's pretty much um, Operation Final Rental, so I'm gonna go shower up, shave my face, and uh, get ready for some radio. All right, shaved up, had a shower. I might go get a coffee and some food before we go to SEN. It's around the corner, so it's worked out very well, but excited for this. I think captain's name today, Brisbane Lions captain, so hopefully it's done within the next hour before we go on radio. Let's go. Legit just got like a bacon, egg, tomato, avocado roll. That was potentially the best thing I've ever eaten. I don't know because I haven't smashed any food for like since last night, but oh my god. Going up to the studio. other on the weekend and join forces during the week and that's how the sports are. Oh, welcome back. Hello, brother. Mr. Davis. Hi, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. 
finding out at lunchtime today, maybe a bit earlier, who will be the Brisbane Lions captain, taking over from Dane Zorko, when they are in that premiership window. If there's ever going to be a year that they could win a premiership, it is this year. Along for the ride over the next 10 to 15 minutes is a former Lions player, a man who's been there and done it on 247 occasions in the AFL or at the AFL level. Mitch Robinson, a very good morning to you, Robbo. Any intel from inside the den yet? Because we know the players get told in about 40 minutes. But has anyone given you the heads up yet? No, I've hit up a few of my little sneaky contacts at the club. Um, all players, obviously. But no, nothing yet. They said they get told this morning. I hit them up last night just to see if I could break some news for the for the family here. <laughs> but, but nothing. I think uh, there's a, a full song and dance going on today about it. So I'm excited to see how that goes down. Downtown Toyota. Oh! Toyota Kluger! What a day. It is hot as fruit. 33 degrees outside. <whistles> Just got sushi kotobuki, the best in Brisbane. You already know where you gotta get. You gotta get the crunch chicken. It is, oh my god. Going on the first open home now. Hopefully, get this one. Wish me luck. But yeah, Sushi Kotobuki is the GOAT! Come down to watch the VFL boys tonight. They're playing Southport. First time Brighton Homes Arena. I'm gonna go have a look around. A little pracky match. Just gonna watch the boys, see how they go. But I didn't come in last night because I couldn't be bothered and it was raining in the city. But I'm gonna go have a look over there. Looks pretty nice. Damn. So I'm just leaving the hotel now. My flight last night got cancelled. Fuck you, Jester. So I literally gave back the Toyota car and then went out to go Uber out to the airport and then they cancelled it like 20 minutes past the flight takeoff time. So frustrating as. Big shout out to Dan and Hotel Lakes for putting me back in the hotel. Same room and all that and they looked after me. The best few days here, this hotel is amazing. I'm so glad to be an ambassador. These guys are amazing. Really, really appreciate it. Now it's back to Darwin. Got the keys to the new place today. Had a look at it. All my stuff's getting moved down next week. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, big year. Got SCN coming up. Got the player management stuff. Podcast coming back. Rob Vlogs is back. Let's go.